What's going on, punk rockers and patriots? Americans, it's your buddy Marcus coming to you on this awesome Friday. The weekend is upon us. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not planning on doing jack shit as little as possible. Thankfully, I got all my Christmas shopping done, so I ain't got to worry about that next week. But anyway, let's jump right on in. For you new guys that are uh, just getting to the channel, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button, punch that notification bell. That way, every time I put up a new video, you guys get notified. So that now that that's out of the way, last night on Facebook, somebody sent me a video that I'm going to be attaching to this, this little podcast, I'm going to keep it short, uh, regarding that Ted Cruz has put out. Apparently, during all this impeachment bullshit, the Senate has compiled a bill that is, like, fucking massive. So massive, in fact, that with everything that's in it, which they have no idea what's in it, really, um, it's going to cost the American taxpayer $1.3 trillion fucking dollars. Yes, trillion. $1.3 trillion. Now, that's on top of the some $22 trillion of debt that our country's in right now. Anyway, you'll see when he goes through the bill, but, you know, they're sneaking some dumb shit in there like a fucking damn bill that raises the tobacco age from damn 18 to 21. What the fuck? So you mean to tell me that if I'm 18 years old and I'm done with high school and I can get drafted and go fight in some fucking war, not only can I not drink a goddamn cold beer after I've blown somebody's fucking head off, but I can't enjoy a goddamn cigarette? What fucking sense does that make? If you're going to do that, fine. Then you raise the goddamn voting age to 21, the goddamn draft age to 21. You know? And if you're not going to do that, drop that goddamn drinking age and tobacco age to fucking 18. Because the goddamn men and women that are under the age of 21 serving in our armed forces deserve a fucking beer and a cigarette if that's what they choose. And it's not up to fucking you to tell them otherwise. And for you goddamn fucking leftists that think you're wrong, you're wrong, Marcus, all I can say is fuck you, you're a goddamn moron. Let those motherfuckers drink and have a goddamn beer. Let them smoke a fucking cigarette. They're over there fighting goddamn wars that we send them to. They at least deserve that fucking much. And if you don't want to do that, fine. Don't send them to fucking war until they're 21. Don't let them fucking drink till they're 21, which you've already got, you know. And then, of course, you can have your little goddamn, you can't smoke until you're 21. But they can't fucking vote either. Because you're essentially saying that 18's not really an adult, except for a couple of things that, you know, we say it is. And that ain't right. But there's other shit in there, too. Like, they want to do a goddamn study on fucking gun confiscation. I think that's what it was. I'm not 100%. I can't remember, but Mr. Cruz, Senator Cruz will tell you. So yeah. CDC's already doing a fucking study on guns. Why we gotta spend more money on a goddamn study of guns? Actually, there shouldn't be a goddamn study. The Constitution doesn't say I got the right to have fucking guns. Any kind of gun I want. Goddamn nine millimeters, semi-automatic, full automatic, whatever. Constitutions, I can have that. Muskets, all of it. Don't get to pick and choose. So we don't need a goddamn study. Waste of fucking taxpayer money. But that's what these fuckers do, man. They do shit like this big damn impeachment hearing. So that, you know, it's all over the fucking news and the media's pushing that shit. Meanwhile, you're all fucking engulfed in what's literally a bullshit witch hunt. And while they're doing that, they're taking the right fucking hand and shoving it up your ass and giving you the good old-fashioned fucking that's going to affect every damn taxpayer in this fucking country. I don't care, right or left, rich or poor. And it's bullshit. I'm fucking tired of it. And you guys should be fucking tired of it, too. Because this is our country. Those motherfuckers work for us. We're their boss. The people. 
They're just civil goddamn servants. And we need to start acting like the fucking boss. We do. We need to stop this damn in-house bickering left and right, right and left. You know, we need to fucking put us that shit in the fucking damn ground and be done with it and start getting on those motherfuckers' asses. Because I'll tell you what, our employees are fucking up. They're lazy. They're taking too many goddamn breaks. And they're robbing the fucking country blind. So, with that being said, I want you to watch the video by Senator Ted Cruz. I think it's about six minutes long. And then after that, I'll end it. Christmas came early in Washington for lobbyists. Lobbyists who are bankrupting this country. While you were with your family, while you were shopping for Christmas, the lobbyists were spending and spending. I present to you the massive omnibus bill that Congress is voting on. Tomorrow the Senate will vote on this. 2,313 pages dropped on us the day before yesterday. Nobody's read it. There isn't a person alive who has read this piece of garbage. But it was put together in the dark of the night with Republican leadership and Chuck Schumer cutting a deal. So in this 2,313 pages, what, what is in it? Well, we don't know everything. But here's one thing. It extends the XM Bank one of the greatest corporate boondoggles, corporate welfare, the lobbyists love it. For seven years, the XM Bank is extended with no vote on it. Number two, buried in here, it raises the tobacco purchasing age to 21. So now our soldiers at age 18, you can be drafted to go into war. You can be sent to the front lines. You can face machine gun fire. But God help you if you want to have a smoke. Did we have a vote on that? Did we have a debate on that? Did someone say, maybe the states could set the tobacco age? Maybe it doesn't have to be the federal government. Nope. No vote. Just a deal in a smoke-filled room. Forcing that result. What else did it do? It funds government research on gun control. That's right. That's part of this deal is let's now have the federal government doing research on gun control. Can't you wait from the report from the Center for Disease Control? Mind you, last I checked, exercising your Second Amendment rights is not a virus that the Center for Disease Control should be studying, but now we've got millions of dollars funding bogus studies that are going to be used to try to take away your constitutional rights. What else is in there? Continues the, the tax breaks for so-called renewable energy. Continues all of the corporate subsidies. Just slipped into the night. Big Democratic priority. Do we have a vote on that? Do we have a vote on whether to continue them? Nope. Other than this big, giant spending bill. And how much is it? Well, we know it's 2,313 pages, but those pages spend $1.4 trillion. You want to know how you bankrupt a country? You want to know how you get a $23 trillion national debt? You're looking at it. Deals cut in the dead of night. $1.4 trillion. You've probably never seen that while you're looking at it right there. What doesn't it do? Well, here's one of the things it doesn't do. It fails to defund Planned Parenthood. Doesn't deliver on that priority. Doesn't deliver on that promise. It continues taxpayer money going to Planned Parenthood. What else doesn't it do? Well... Fails to end Obamacare. Doesn't even try. Not part of it at all. 
takes care of the insurance companies, takes care of the lobbyists, but for the millions of people who are struggling to meet their health insurance costs, no help at all. What else does it not do? Fails to expand College 529 savings plans and to expand education freedom. This is a bipartisan idea. This is an idea that passed the House Ways and Means Committee unanimously until the teachers union got Nancy Pelosi to do a drive-by shooting and strip it out. Hurting parents that have kids with disabilities, hurting kids with disabilities, hurting homeschoolers, hurting millions of public school students who are prevented from using 529 savings plans to pay for tutoring and standardized tests. Doesn't do that at all. It fails to stop sanctuary cities. Nowhere in the 2300 pages is real leadership stopping sanctuary cities. Nowhere to be found. And finally, number 10, it fails to fully fund the wall. How much does it come short? Well, President Trump asked for $8.6 billion to fund the wall. Does it give $8 billion? Does it give $7 billion? Does it give six, five, four, three, two? No. It gives $1.4 billion. Doesn't come close to fully funding the wall. This is why Washington's corrupt. This is an example of government of the lobbyist, by the lobbyist, and for the lobbyists. And this pile of trash belongs in an ashtray. Well, I hope that video pissed you off as much as it pissed me off, because believe me, it pissed me off. Hence why I'm doing this video this morning. I do, I do realize it seems like I'm putting a lot of videos back to back, but if I don't get this shit out, I'm going to forget about it. And, you know, you got to make the content while you can, I believe. But anyway, we got to do something about this, people. You know, we're getting fucked. And I'm tired of getting fucked. I don't know about you, but I don't like getting fucked, especially if I'm not getting any kind of pleasure out of it. But anyway... I digress. So with that being said, like I said, um, last video, I am going to try to do a live stream Saturday night. I will not be doing one tonight. I will be trying to do one on Saturday. So hopefully you guys can join me and we can get something going, some kind of big discussion. I don't know, but we can get drunk in the process because that's what makes this country great. The that we can get drunk in front of our computers, talk all kinds of mad shit. Anyway, as always, I love you motherfuckers. Thank you for the support. And I will catch you bitches on the flip side. Peace.